So there's a couple things uh, I want to talk about today in this video. It's kind of a little bit of a rant, but I was influenced by another video I watched. I think his name was, uh, I don't know, Denshin. Anyway, uh, the point is, he was talking about relationships, about males. He's really talking to a lot of males, young males. And he was telling them that why you're actually more attractive than you think you are. And this is true. This is very true. Men do not, not all men have the, the, the things you need before to actually feel that you're an attractive male. And that's just, that's, these are things that you, you'll need to actually build on before. So for all the young men out there, high school, middle school, college, older, whoever, it could, you could be at any stage in life. If you're not feeling like you are a top tier male, you're not a top tier partner, there's a reason for that. And that's what we're about to dive into right now. So the first thing is we got to build the foundation. If before we can even look outside, we need to go inside. We need to look at ourselves. We need to see what we like about ourselves. What characteristics do we know we have? How are we really? Do we think that we're super strong, but we don't go to the gym? No, we need to be able to find the truth, dig deep, and this actually takes time. It takes a lot of awareness. There, I have some other videos talking about uh, awareness and what we put our attention on is what we create more of. You can check that one out. When we look at ourselves, right? So, you know, I, I wanna talk about this other book real quick first. It's called um, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. So, men always believe that they have to chase after women. You have to go find a woman, chase a woman. And this, you'd probably say it's true. And it is in a way, but not in the way you might think. So men are extremely independent. As a man, you're probably gonna do as much as you can by yourself before you even think about asking for someone for help because that's just how we are. That's just how we, we like to make things, we like to build things, we like to do things, create things, whatever it is. And then when we need help, then we'll ask someone else for help. That's not exactly how it works with women. Women are more uh, socially and you know emotionally tied together. They like to, they'll rather, women would rather do something they don't like to do to do it with their friend than to do what they want to do. But a male, such as a young kid, he's going to go play baseball with whoever it is. He doesn't care who wants to play baseball. He just wants to play baseball. And that's where there's some key differences between males and females and how we are. And because of this, that's why we really need to know ourselves first. Now, what does that have to do with, with chasing after women? That's because the men are really uh, providers. They like to give. Once we are fully filled up, we feel like we, we do so much for ourselves where we have food, we're healthy, we have water, uh, we make things that we like, we're filled. We are filled to now, we, we like to give. That's where men really find their joy. They like to give, whether it's emotionally, whether it's with physical stuff, you like to build things for other people, or you like to make things for other people, or you do work for other people, or you like to give, that's the point. That's what men really will find joy in, but they can't give unless they're full, which is why we have to do the introspection and look at ourselves and what how we are and, and what we want from before, our foundation. Once we're ready to give, that's how we're gonna be able to find someone who is on our level. And women, now if we, we wanna switch over to women, right? Women have to be ready to receive. If they're not ready to receive, there's not a single man that will be able to, that, that will please her because she's not ready to receive. So when you're ready to give, you are actually the one in, in control. And a lot of men might think, oh, I have to chase after women and a lot of women don't like me and, and they might feel hopeless or lose confidence but you're actually looking at it from the wrong perspective. The better perspective to look at it is that you are the one with choice. You can go ahead and, and talk to whoever you want, while most women will probably not go and approach you because that's just not the how women are these days. They're not gonna go and approach you. Some will, but I'm saying you are the one in control. And a lot of times I actually heard stories, some women say, oh, I really like this guy, and they're waiting for him to approach her, but he doesn't. So you could you could see if you if you've been paying attention to this video you could see why this would happen in this situation. The man probably does not feel confident enough. It could be a possibility. Or two, he doesn't want her. Or yeah, it's really it. Either he doesn't want her or he's not confident enough to go and, and talk with her. While meanwhile the woman did not go approach the man and she's waiting on him to to go talk to her. And she'll deny all these other men or reject them or not even pay that, paying attention to them because she doesn't want them. But a woman who's ready to receive that's when the man will appear for her, the right man. So anyway, as a man, right, our goal is to give. That's what brings us happiness. 
If it's not bringing you happiness, that means you're not full yet. Once you're full, giving will make you happier. It'll actually make you happy to fill yourself up first and then even happier when you're able to give and you have excess. It's like sharing a big chicken with your friends. It's like, you know there's a lot of chicken. So it feels good to share good chicken with, with your friends. So anyway, right. So uh, back into the, the mindset that I was talking about where, where you have control. Once you, I'm sure none of you guys, nobody would want somebody who doesn't also want to be wanted back to. And I have made this mistake. I was thinking, oh, I want this specific person, this specific person, but they did not want to really be with me that much, right? They did not really want to be with me. So why would I still want to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with me, right? And I think a lot of men probably get stuck on being with this one person, but and they're not giving them back that same uh, emotional energy, right? Is that something you want? Think, think hard, not even think hard, it's simple. I don't think anyone wants someone who feels like I have to get them, you know, or I have to win them over. No, I wouldn't want that. And I'm sure you don't. So, but what's nice about for you though, is you just let them go. And then now you can talk to anyone else and you are the one that can put your foot forward easily. I mean, women can too, but as a man, it's much, much easier, I would say. So let's go ahead and change that mindset for for you younger people and, and for older people. You are the one with with control, and that actually gives you a lot more power to pick and choose who you want. Now, if who you want, or you might think you might want them, because you probably don't want them if they don't want you back, who you might think you want, if they don't really want you, I would just let them go. It's obviously, (laughs) it's simple advice, but it it helps a lot, because like I said, and I have another video actually how to attract your perfect spouse. And here I talk about making a list and all the different traits you want. Go ahead and watch that video and that one has way more detail. I'm gonna end this video for today. Thank you for giving me a little listen on this. Let me know what you think in, in the in the comments below. Do you feel like you are like one of these people who you feel like you're chasing women or do you feel like you're the one that has the choice of women, right? Or if you're a woman watching this, I wanna know, are you watching this to, to see how men think or whatnot? Let me know what you think. Do you like, how do you feel? Do you feel like you're the one that's going to be able to approach guys and, and you know, initiate the, the relationship or no? So yeah, thank you for watching and um, go ahead, check my Patreon down in the, the description below. I have all my, my post updates on there and I have some exclusive content uh, and you'll get a notification whenever I make a post. It's, it's really cool. Join the community. See you.